Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash, uh, Barakadun, to the uh, elders, Wa'akim Akwa, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Joel 3 verse 1 all the way in through verse 20, uh, 21. That's going to be the title of the sit down lesson. And the Heavenly Father, the true name is that Yahweh and His unbegotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Hamashiach Yahweh <coughs> Uh, those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, uh, the Lashwa Kadash, the whole tongue. And I say Barakatham to the uh, elders, Wa Akim Wa and I say Shalom. And this is uh, the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 1. For behold, in those days and that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, right? Judah and Jerusalem will rest, you know, was represents the 12 tribes of Israel from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. From our ancestors and uh, forefathers, you know, our ancestors and forefathers all went down to us. So that makes us the Israelites, you know. This is uh, Joel <clears throat> chapter 3 and verse 2. And I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is over there in Western Asia. And that's what the Heavenly Father is doing. Because, you know, there's a controversy in Zion to Zion, the actual Israelites. It says, And I will plead with them for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Right, Jerusalem should be trodden down to the Gentiles being filled. And that's what we're seeing. This is uh, the prophet Joel chapter 3 and verse 3. They have cast life for my people, right? The Israelites, the apple of the Lord's eye, and give a boy for a harlot, and sell a girl for wine that they might drink. Right, translating the slave tree, so the Heavenly Father requires that which is past. <clears throat> and what's taking place is well, modern day times as well, too. And this is uh, Joel chapter 3 and verse 4. It says, Yea, what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, with the Hamatic nations? Because you do have Israelites that scattered among the Hamites as well, too. Especially over there in Western Africa, over there in that, con of, you know, over there in that area. It says, uh, in all the coast of Palestine, those Ishmaelites. Because you got Israel, you got Israelites amongst those Ishmaelites as well, too. <clears throat> Especially the ones that's dark skin consent, you know, dark skin complected. This is as, uh, will you render me a recompense? And therefore, recompense me swiftly and speedily, and I will turn your recompense upon your own head, right? So, totally, that recompense has definitely come upon their own head, the uh, Ishmaelites and the uh, Hamites as well, too. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 5. Because you have taken my silver and my gold, right? The Israelites, the apple of the Lord's eye, the heavenly father's people. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and carried them into your temple, my goodly present things. The prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, right? Judah and Jerusalem, the Israelites, have ye so unto the Grecians, right? The Edomites, that you might remove them far from their border, still to this day. Uh, Joel, chapter 3, and verse 7. Behold, I will raise them up at a place where you have sold them, and I will turn your recompense upon your own head, right? So totally, the recompense has definitely come upon their own head, what they did to the children of Israel, and still to this day. Uh, Joel, chapter 3, and verse 8. It says, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah, and they shall set them to the Siberians, to a people far off from the Lord Yahweh has spoken it. <clears throat> the prophet Joel, <clears throat> uh, the prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 9, it says, Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near. Right, so the heavenly father is putting that war like man setting up these uh, armies of nations over there in the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is uh, Western Asia, and around the world as well, too. Uh, the prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 10. Meet your plowshares and the swords and plenty hooks and the spears and let the weak say I'm strong. Right, that's why we see in the uh, the nations are in that strong mindset right now. And let the weak say I'm strong. And that's what we're seeing. Joel, chapter 3, and verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come all you heathen, which is the armies of the other nations. Especially over there in Valley Jehoshaphat. As he slowly be sure to gather the nations up over there in the area and putting them in that war like man said. He's waking up the mighty men, the army of the armies of the uh, nations, <clears throat> Salaki. And gather yourselves together round about thither to cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord Yahweh. <clears throat> the prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 12. Uh, Let the heat be awakening and come up into the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, Western Asia. For there I will sit and judge all the heathen round about, which is the armies of the other nations, as we mentioned before. The prophet Joel 3 and verse 13, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripped. Come and get ye down for the press is full and the fats will flow for their wickedness is great. The prophet Joel chapter 3 and verse 14, multitudes and the multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord Yahweh is near the valley of decision. Right, so the day of the Lord Yahweh is getting closer to near in the valley of decision. The valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, Western Asia. 
Joel 3 verse 15, the sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Joel 3 verse 16, the Lord Yahweh shall roar out of Zion, the Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord Yahweh will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, right, the actual Israelites. Not those imposters claiming to be us, <laughs> not those IDF Edomites, not those small hatters, but the actual Israelites. Joel chapter 3 verse 17. So say ye know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power dwelling in Zion, says I want. My holy mountain, then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her anymore. You can read that in Jeremiah the 30th chapter as well too, and uh, many more scriptures to reference that as well too. This is uh, Joel 3 and verse 18. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down a new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and the fountains shall come forth of the house of the Lord Yahweh, and shall water the valley of Shittim. Uh, Joel 3 verse 19, Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a uh, desolate wilderness, for the violence against the children of Judah, because they had shed innocent blood in their land. Joel 3 and verse 20, but Judah shall dwell forever and Jerusalem for generations to generations. The prophet Jeremiah uh, 3 and verse 21, For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for the Lord Yahweh dwelling in Zion. So with that, this is just a quick set down lesson of Joel 3 and verse 21. I mean, Joel uh, 3 and verse 1 to verse 21. That was the title of the set down lesson. Uh, so with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Akakadash. Uh, Barak Thumb to the uh, elders while Akim while Akwaf. Until next time, I will say Kwame Asharala and Shalom.